Welcome back. It's been a while, but we have a jam-packed video for you today. Taking time to go to a typing center or government office to do your Ajari can be quite stressful. From ensuring you have the right documents to possible rejections. There is an easier way which we'll talk about today. Let's get into it. The good news is that it's cheaper, faster, and quite easy to register an Ajari for your tenant. Before anything, you'll need to have access to Dubai REST, which is an application from the Dubai Land Department, and can be downloaded from the App Store or Google Play. Once you've downloaded the app, there are some things to remember. While tenants can also register a Ajari for the property they'll live in, it requires the approval of the landlord on the application. And if for any reason the landlord is unable to gain access, it can cause delays and a long wait for resolution from land department. For this reason, the landlord should already have access to Dubai REST and will be completing the registration themselves. If the landlord does not have access, we strongly recommend visiting the registration centers in Al Manara, Al Barsha or one near you. For the purposes of this video, we will assume the landlord has access to Dubai REST. There'll be another video detailing how to get access and common issues on Dubai REST coming soon. As this will be a walkthrough, feel free to pause, rewind or replay the video anywhere at your own pace as you follow along. Once you've logged into the application as an owner, you'll notice the navigation bar at the bottom of the application with home, dashboard and services. For this video, we'll be working through the dashboard, so go ahead and click on dashboard. This will bring you to your property wallet, requests, profile and services. As we want to register a Jari, we must first select property wallet, the type of property we have, either unit or villa, which then brings us to the properties we have as an owner. We will select unit. To select the right property, just press on the card of the unit which you see. This will bring you to the property information of the specific apartment or villa. Now here's a handy tip. If you have a villa, make sure to select villa and not land, as a jari can only be registered on villa type. In most cases, you'll see both options if you have a standalone villa. Just above the navigation, at the bottom, you'll see a red button with access property services. Click on it. This will open the services for the property where you can scroll all relevant services. In our case, we want to select Ajari services. Here you'll see any active Ajari registrations. If there are none, you can go ahead and select the Ajari in the red at the bottom and click on create new contract. On the next page, you will see the type of tenant, which can be a person or a company. For us, we will select person, but the process is similar for both. For individuals, you currently need their Emirates ID number and date of birth. These can both be found on the Emirates ID. For a company tenant, you'll need their trade license, trade license issue city, department where it was issued and their license number. The system will then verify these details and pull all relevant information from the government system. At this point, you should verify the information is correct and fix any issues. It is also possible the system is not able to uh, locate the relevant information. In this case, you'll be given blank fields which you can go ahead and complete. Once you've clicked continue, you'll see the contract information page. Here you can enter the start date, end date and any grace period along with any contract details. In most cases, you will of course select year for contract value and enter the yearly rent. You are also able to select if there is any type of discount on the contract along with discount value or percentage. Once complete, click on the red button that says calculate. This will show you the rental amounts as annual rent, actual annual rent, contract value and actual contract value. It's important to note that these amounts should match if you have a standard yearly contract with no additional grace or discounts. Once checked, hit continue. On the next page, you can enter the security deposit details which include the amount and how many payments the rent is paid in. You can also additionally enter the check details as per the contract by clicking add payment. Click to go to the next page at the bottom. Make sure to enter co-occupants which is how many people will be living in the property. 
excluding the named tenant. The next page is related to previous tenant's details. We usually leave these blank uh, if the property is already vacant. However, if the tenant has left early and you want to reference back, you can go ahead and complete. In most cases, we advise to hit skip. Once you've come to the last page, you'll find additional terms and conditions. And if you want to send notification to the tenant to approve the contract. In most cases, if everything is as per the contract, uh, approval is not required. So we advise to select no for additional approval if this is the case. Once you click continue, you will be brought to the payment terminal where you have a couple of options. One is to pay the Ajari fee yourself, or two is to send the link to the tenant so that they can pay. If you do not pay it yourself as the landlord, my advice would be to screenshot the Ajari contract number and payment link for future reference in case needed. If you're still here, thank you for sticking around. Here are a few things to note. The registration currently costs 177 dirhams, 75 fills, which is cheaper than the 210 you are charged in the typing centers. Also, the Ajari is received at the same time as the payment is completed, which avoids the wait and approvals from land department. On a final note, and something very useful to remember, is that the system can be used to renew a jari or cancel a previous jari if the tenant has already vacated or is vacating. You can head over to the same section under Ajari Services uh, where you selected the property from the dashboard property wallet. Here you will see a few options, download contract, renew contract, terminate contract, as well as other services. Download contract will allow you to download a copy of the current Ajari. Renew contract follows the same process, but to renew an existing Ajari. And terminate contract allows you to cancel the current Ajari that is registered, allowing you to register a new one. When you click either option, you'll be uh, prompted to add reasoning and your contact information. If you're still watching, I appreciate you sticking to the end and look forward to seeing you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, help support the channel by hitting like or subscribe to see more. If you have any questions, feel free to write a comment below. See you in the next one.